Welcome back everybody, this is Eddie with Joe's Gaming and Electronics. Today, we'll be replacing a battery on a QC35. We'll be working on the left side, so to start off, flip the unit over, take the ear pad off. It's just held on by some clips. So if you kind of go on the inside, pull back, pry it up, slip it out, put that to the side. These mesh are held in by two pieces of tape. One's already off, so we'll just pull this off, put it to the side. Next, I'll be using a 1.5 millimeter screwdriver to remove these two Phillips head screws. Next, lift up the unit. This cover should pop right off. Place that to the side. Next, we're gonna have to unsolder the battery. It's gonna be this red, white, and black wire. So I like to grab some tweezers and grab your soldering iron. Put those wires to the side and next we'll flip the unit over we're gonna have to pop this panel off right here it's just held on by some glue so grab your heat gun let it warm up and carefully work around that just don't hold it in one spot for too long because then you could warp the metal or the plastic next grab a flathead screwdriver and just carefully pry this up. Next, you just pry up this panel with a flathead, slowly work your way around it, loosening the glue as you go. Careful not to go too deep, because then you could puncture the battery and you'll have a much bigger problem on your hand. We always keep a fire extinguisher nearby, just in case, because when you're working on electronics, you just never know what's about to happen. Next, put that panel to the side, and there's your battery. It's held in with a little bit of glue, so you just pry on it a little bit, not too much force, so you don't puncture it, and it should just pop right out. Put that to the side. Now, we grab our replacement battery, bring it in, straighten out the wires on it, place it through the where it was originally and slip it into place next grab your panel heat it up with a heat gun just a little bit and we like to use B7000 glue because it's about the same consistency as the original glue and carefully lay a little bead around it. You don't need too much, just enough to where this will hold in place. Put that to the side and just put your panel right back where it belongs. Press it into place and then flip it over, solder back the wires. We'll be going in the same, put them back originally where they were. The order is red, black, and white. Grab your tweezers. Grab the wire you start with. I like to work from the inside out so that no wires get in my way. I just find that's the simplest way to do it. Ensure that the wires are all soldered on nicely. Tuck those back under. And we can grab our outside panel, put it on, hold it down while we flip the unit over, and grab the two screws we took out previously. We grab a 1.5 mil screwdriver and just place them back in the same location. These two screws are identical, so it's not too important that you keep them in place. But if you're working with other screws, then you have to make sure that you, these will always be the longest on the whole unit. And the rest will be similarly sized. Next, we grab our mesh. We can pull this old tape off because we have a new roll that we can be putting it on. Next, grab our tape. We're going to be using some double-sided tape. 
grab a piece, cut it to about the same length. We'll need two pieces, but we'll start for one for now. There's one, and we'll cut another one for the other side. Now we can take this film off as to expose the other side of the tape. Now we grab the mesh, align it, make sure it's going with the same curvature as the earmuff, and we just press it down. Grab our ear pad. And I like to start, line it up, find the top middle, put that clip in first. So it just slides under the clip. As you can see right about there is the clip. And we slowly work our way around one clip at a time. And I just kind of pull it back and slide it in. There you have it. You just replaced the battery on your QC35s. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, use the comment section down below. We'll be sure to answer you. If you need any of these tools, link down in the description. We sell it on our website. This has been Eddie with Joe's Gaming and Electronics, and have an excellent day.